What's up everybody? This is Mommy Wata. I'm back with another channeled message. Um, the message is, or the download that I keep getting is, why are they still in my energy? Um, this could be somebody who you have recently cut ties with, um, family member, lover, friend, whoever. Um, but somebody is still in your energy. They still keep popping up in your mind, um, in your headspace. And you're not really even concerned about this person, but they keep popping up randomly in your head. So you're like, why are they still in my energy? So we're going to take a look and see why they are still in your energy. Because I feel like these people are not people who uh, you walked away from because you didn't want to deal with them. I feel like these are people that possibly walked away from you or mistreated you in some way, shape, or form. So it's not like um, you did something wrong and that's why they're still in your energy in your head because you feel guilty. 111 on the phone. They're still in... <clears throat> excuse me. Damn, excuse me. Lord. They're still in your energy because they are still thinking about you. They feel regretful for some reason, okay? There's something going on here. Why are they still in my energy? Universe, what messages do you have for us? We have a queen of wands here. I'll show you the card. I like these illustrations on these cards. What else, Holy Spirit? They're still in, why are they still in our energy? Well, the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. They are still in your energy. So what you're picking up on is correct here, whoever this applies to. All right. We're going to take all of these. They are still in your energy because they are currently facing judgment for how they treated you here. We have the temperance card. We have the chariot card. We're gonna do a six card. Start off with six cards. Y'all bear with me. I wasn't planning on doing a reading today, but this popped up in my head and I haven't been able to get it out. So I said, let's get it out this way. We have judgment. Again, they are facing judgment here for manipulating you in some way, shape or form. They're, you're possibly judging them by not allowing them to be in your life anymore. Um, they may be actually facing a form of physical judgment um, for betraying you or, you know, you cutting off contact with them, however it occurred, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Incense is kind of strong. What else, Holy Spirit? And, you know, the Holy Spirit it has stepped in with this temperance card trying to bring balance to the situation, but the way that balance is being brought to the situation is in the form of judgment. We have the nine of swords here. They're still in your, your energy because they can't stop thinking about you. They can't stop thinking about how they mistreated you. Um, they can't stop thinking about possible memories that y'all share, times that you were there for them. You tried to be a comfort to them. Um, you try to be a help in whatever way, whatever shape or form, okay? And they they realize how genuine you were to them. What else, Holy Spirit? Why are they still in my energy? Why are they still in my energy universe? We have the Nine of Pentacles here. I feel like you're the Queen of Wands on the board. And I also feel like you're this Nine of Pentacles energy, okay? Um, I feel like I'm talking to a Divine Feminine here. Um, I feel like I'm talking to a woman who is very independent, very um, abundant, very hardworking, very attractive, you know, all of these wonderful things. And, you know, you're standing in this independent Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands energy right now. Um, you didn't allow yourself to continue to be mistreated by people, places, and things that no longer served you. All right. That's what I'm picking up on. And, and 
they realize that you were a gift from God. Your presence in their life was a blessing from God. And they fumbled it. Um, they're, they're watching you celebrate. They're watching you stand in this nine of pentacles energy here. Um, you probably are getting some type of recognition right now. And even if you're not getting any formal recognition, you're probably getting recognition from people that mutual people that you all know, um, like minded people, maybe people in the community, family, friends. Um, these other people are seeing you glow up. They see you being abundant and blessed without this person in your life. And it's kind of looking like maybe they were the problem, okay? And people are maybe starting to say that openly. So, you know, this is why they are in your energy. What else, universe? <clears throat> we have the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this person that is in your energy is trying to think up a way that they can get back to you, okay? And I'm working my way back to you, babe. That's what I just heard, okay? So please believe they are working to get back into your good graces, into um, your presence. They want to be able to experience your vibe again, okay? That's, that's what I'm picking up on. That's what I'm feeling like. You are a vibe here. Any final messages, universe? Ooh, that flew out. Knight of Swords. They know you are a vibe. And I feel like they may be a little bit jealous of the fact that somebody else may be possibly experiencing this vibe. Is what I'm picking up here. That's why they're working so hard to get back in your good graces or figure out what they need to do to get this situation settled. Okay? They want to call a truce. That is why they are in your energy. We have a Queen of Swords and a Four of Wands. <clears throat> I'm going to end the reading with this because I think this is the Divine Feminine right now. You are most definitely standing in this Queen of Swords energy. All right. Um, you're not going to allow anybody to come in and prosper off of your pain. Okay. I feel like. Your pain is what propelled you to this current state, this Queen of Wands, Nine of Pentacles energy, all right? And that pain was based off of the treatment of these people who are still in your energy, who know they wronged you somehow. And if you allow them back into your energy, you will not be in this Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Wands state. I know you are aware of that. It was just 808 on the phone. You will not be financially abundant and, be, and have the blessings that God has for you if you go back to people, places, and things that really did you bad, put you down, okay? So you're in this Queen of Swords energy because you know that if you don't keep your guard up, you're going to possibly go down the wrong path, you know, have a setback, and you're not trying to do it, okay? You're not trying to go there. So you want to keep, you want to remain in this Four of Wands energy. You don't want to let nothing or nobody come in and screw up your blessings from the Most High, okay? So if you were wondering why they were still in your energy, my dear, this is why, okay? Um, they know you. they played you. They know they did you wrong. They know you are the best thing smoking. And that's real, okay? They know how valuable you are, period. And they are regretful for how they treated you. So the best thing to do is just to continue to clear your energy. When this person, place, or thing pops up in your mind... You know, ask the most high to remove that negative energy away from you. You know those things were not good for you. They're not a good source for you. The most high is your only source. So call on him to remove that type of energy from your mind so that you can continue to move forward in your life purpose and these blessings that the most high has for you, okay? I hope this message helps someone and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.